All of us know we're getting older and most of us don't want to look older than we truly are. I'm going to share with you 10 things that are instantly aging you, making you look older, frumpy and completely old fashioned. If you're ready, let's get started. Little disclaimer, I did a video a few weeks ago and it went down a storm and so many of you understood that this message was all about helping you to become more fashionable, helping with your fashion choices and getting rid of things that really are doing you no favors. Some of you, however, took it very personally. So I'm going to tell you right now, if you love what you wear, if you absolutely feel great in your outfits every single day, then this video isn't for you. However, if you struggle with a few choices and you're feeling that when you go into the stores, all you're served is very old lady clothes, I get it. This is something that's happening to us all. I'm sick of being served the fashion equivalent of a soggy sandwich. So today I'm going to share my 10 instantly transforming tips so that you can look fresher, younger and relevant for today. So the first thing that I am going to out so that we can dump the frump and look fabulous all day is a cold shoulder top. Now I know you're going to come at me, you love your cold shoulder tops. I understand showing a little bit of shoulder can look a little sexy. It can look a little modern, but I'm afraid you're wrong. Cold shoulder tops had an incredible moment but not anymore. You will not see women in their 20s, 30s, 40s or early 50s wearing cold shoulder tops. In fact, I feel that they are a super fashion faux pas. They actually look a little bit cheap and dare I say it, desperate for flesh to be shown. We don't need to show our shoulders and then have this sleeve that's coming down. It looks very old fashioned. It's doing you no favors. So with the cold shoulder tops, I would say ditch them. Get rid of them completely. If you want to show your shoulders, maybe get a nice little tank, something that just shows the top of your arms. If you don't like this part of your arms, I get it. Instead of opting for just a cutout where your top of your shoulders are showing, have a nice little flutter sleeve, something like this, that hides all the jiggly bits, the little chicken fillet just underneath, but still shows a little bit of skin and opt for a v-neck. Maybe if you have a larger bust, maybe opt for a v-neck too, or a lovely little sweetheart neck. I really want you to think about getting rid of those cold shoulder blouses, tops, tanks. They are doing you no favors and they're aging you. My next item on my hit list are big, bold, bright pants or trousers. I'm sorry girls, they look dreadful. Great big, flowery, hibiscus plants all over your lower half and worse still, cropped wide leg. We need to realize these are not doing us any favors. They are, yes, camouflaging to a degree, but the point is that you just look like a walking pair of prints. They are not attractive. They don't look stylish. In fact, they make you look older. They are putting years on your frame. They are not stylish. They are outdated. You won't see younger women wearing these items of clothing. And the reason is they're old lady clothes and there's nothing wrong with being an old lady. But if you're in your fifties and you're wearing this type of clothes, you are aging yourselves 20 years. So I would opt for getting rid of big, bold prints on the bottom half and get something more tailored. Get a smaller print, get something that is a little stylish or no print at all. How about that? If you adore prints, I get it. Prints can be beautiful, but great big prints are definitely not stylish. They look old fashioned and they're doing you no favors. I'm wearing a print. It is a small ditzy print. This is a beautiful dress. I suggest you wear something like this on top and neutral pants or trousers. Or if you really need to have a print on your pants, make sure it is a small print and then have a plain tee. You don't want to be mixing great big bold prints. It is not a modern look. You will look older than you are. And frankly, it's very frumpy. The next item on my hit list are capri pants and pedal pushers. I can't believe that we are still wearing those in 2024. They need to be ditched. They need to be burnt. They are not doing you any favors whatsoever. 
they cut you off at the widest point of your lower leg. Seriously, ladies, these do you no favors. They age you. They look old, they look frumpy, and they add 10 years to your whole look. Opting for something that cuts you at your widest point puts all the emphasis on your cuffs. I don't know about you, but as I got older, my legs changed shape. My lower part of my leg are a little larger. Opt for something that comes in at the slimmest part of your leg, which is going to be your ankle. Just a tiny little cuff, a tiny little turn if you want crop trousers. But please girls, get rid of the capri pants. They should have been gone so many years ago, and yet I see them doing the rounds year in, year out. They are not modern and I don't care that they're comfortable. There are so many things that you could be wearing. Opt for cropped linens, opt for some cotton pants, or opt for a t-shirt dress or a lovely dress or a skirt. Get rid of the capri pants, they look awful and they are definitely aging you. Next up on my hit list are outdated, orthopedic, very old looking shoes. Crocs, flowers and butterflies on our shoes, Velcro straps for comfort. Look, I get it. Some of us have got bunions. Some of us have dodgy knees. We want something that's comfortable. But there are so many stylish options out there. I agree, comfort is king. But you don't have to sacrifice style. Please don't wear flowers and butterflies on your feet. Let the flowers and butterflies be free in your garden and get rid of Crocs. Crocs have only one place in this world that's in the trash. Number five on my hit list are asymmetric tops and I'm going to include waterfall cardigans in this category. Anything that doesn't have either a straight or even just a scalloped hem looks dated. The asymmetric tops, the ones that have the big pleats and the V at the sides really emphasize parts of us that most of us want to hide over 50. Coupled with an asymmetric top that comes down and frames your crotch, what are we doing? They are so not fashionable. They are aging you instantly, girls, and they do not look attractive on anybody. They look very, very frumpy. They look old fashioned. You are aging yourself with these asymmetric tops. Yes, I get it. Lots of layers of chiffon and different types of fabric makes for camouflaging those bits and lumps and bumps that we don't want to be seen. However, what you're doing is adding bulk and focus on those areas. Oftentimes, I also see waterfall and handkerchief cardigans. They're doing the same thing. They're adding bulk. They are not adding anything to your physique nor your frame and all of your best bits. What they're doing is camouflaging you, making you look very, very old and frumpy. This is a dump the frump moment. Get rid of asymmetric, get rid of waterfall cardigans and look for hems that are either straight or even have a nice little scallop. That is a lovely look and it gives a bit of interest and detail if that's what you're after without emphasizing the bits that you want to disguise. Next on my hit list are ill-fitting bras and actually this should be the most important point that I raised today. When you're wearing a badly fitting bra, you are going to look older than your years. Everything that you wear is going to look frumpy and old fashioned. Unfortunately for the vast majority of us, our bosoms head south as we get older. Wearing a really well fitted bra is going to elevate your look. It's going to make you look younger, perter, uplifted, and it's going to improve your posture then it's going to totally transform your wardrobe. 90% of us are walking around in the wrong sized bra, which is shocking. So if we just invest a little bit of time and effort getting our bra measured for us properly and investing maybe just a little bit more money in our undergarments and our underwear, then we are going to see a transformation, an epic transformation, I'll tell you that. Your tops, your outfits will look so much better. It even improves the appearance of your trousers or your pants because your upper proportions are completely tailored and stylish. You will look fabulous. The next thing that is aging us instantly as we step out the door are matchy matchy prints and accessories and shoes. 
it has to stop girls i get it we see an animal print accessory such as a scarf and we think oh that will go well with the blouse and it will definitely look fabulous with those pants and if i add a jacket and shoes and bag oh my goodness where does it stop you need to cut back and pull back with the matchy matchy when we are too matchy matchy we look a little bit overdone believe it or not we look like we have tried too hard now I get it, we want to accessorize and look very stylish and put together, but everything the same is not a stylish put together look. It's a very old and frumpy look. And in fact, you're aging yourself. Nobody does matchy matchy like a woman over 50 that has lost her style sense. And I have to say, it can be corrected so easily. If you like, for example, an animal print, maybe just add animal print in your scarf or your handbag or even your shoes but don't go head to toe in the full matching print. It looks dated, it looks frumpy, and it looks old fashioned. I highly recommend, if you love a print or a color, great, add one or two elements of that. However, definitely ditch matchy matchy everything. It looks dated, it doesn't look relevant, it doesn't look youthful. You are making yourself look older and frumpy. Number eight that I want you to ditch and dump the frump are shapeless big great big baggy tops certainly i get it a baggy top is camouflaging maybe your tummy area or your butt or your hips however it's doing you no favors if you couple that with capri pants and crocs well you have just sealed the deal this is not a good look having something that is a little bit more shape fitting or even tucking in just by a half tuck a great big baggy top will elevate your look. You will not look frumpy, you will not look dowdy, and you will not look as old. This look is instantly aging you. It's also instantly making you look frumpy and not very well put together. I know a lot of us are body conscious, myself included. My tummy is my area of concern. So anything that I can do to just camouflage it, to make me look a little slimmer, I will do. However, what doesn't make anybody look slimmer are oversized, ill-fitting clothes. They have the opposite effect. They make you look bigger. Girls, trust me when I say, get rid of the great big tent size tops and opt for something that fits your form a little better. Emphasize the bits you do love. Maybe if you have a fuller chest, have a V-neck, but don't be swamped in a huge baggy top. You are doing yourself no favors. You look instantly older and you look frumpy. Number nine are poorly fitting shorts. I have to say shorts are one of the hardest things for all of us to find. However, wearing shorts that are either too long or too short makes us look older. It makes us look irrelevant. It makes us look frumpy. And dare I say it, if they're too short, we can look a little cheap. What I want to suggest is get a good pair of fitting shorts. You don't want shorts that just hit half on your knee. That is a very matronly dated look. It does not suit anybody. It looks old fashioned, it looks frumpy, and it makes you look older. And while I'm at it, shorts that when we sit down, we can see all of our lady bits, and when we get up, all the crumple and all the focus is in our crotch area. They don't suit anybody. They look awful. What you need to do is get a pair of shorts that just hit on your thighs in a very, very stylish way. Now, I'm not saying they need to be short, short. I'm saying they need to be elegantly placed. Opt for shorts that are more tailored rather than the sort of shorts that make us look a little bit like a barrel. We want things to fit our body and to look stylish. We don't want things that either make us look too old or trying too hard. The final item that I'm going to suggest you think about changing are your accessories, particularly jewellery. I love jewellery, I'm a bit of a magpie, I love a wrist stack, but I always make sure it looks elegant, it looks stylish, it can look bohemian. What I don't opt for are great big wooden beads, baubles, anything that is clearly from the last century. I would also suggest you think about ditching the fanny pack. Over here in the UK, we call that a bum bag. They look awful. They don't look stylish. They look frumpy. And if you're over the age of 50 and you've got your Capri pants on and your great big boxy t-shirt and your Crocs, add a bum bag or a fanny pack I'm sorry, it's game over. You have instantly aged yourself at least 20 years. Think about accessorizing with 
gorgeous pieces. You can mix and match metals. You can add dainty pieces with slightly larger pieces as I have done here. This is all from Amazon. It is a beautiful tennis bracelet and then a little wrist cuff. These look elevated. They don't look old fashioned, frumpy or cheap. And that's what I want for you girls. Think about accessorizing with things that add to your outfit, not detract. So that's it girls. Those are my top 10 tips to instantly stop looking older and help you look more fabulous every single day. Please remember, it's just my opinion. Take it with a pinch of salt. If you love what you see every single day in the mirror, then keep doing that. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I bring videos every single week just like this to help you look good and feel fabulous. Until the next time, bye for now.